Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about the production planning, routing, production order creation, then planning, implementation, product scheduling profile, and availability check, and stock and batch determination. So let's get on started. Now we are dealing with the routing. So for routing, we go to production. basic data routing and select automatically uh, routing selection and select automatically Here we have got the screen and here is the ID, the ST, the task, then the description, task, description of the status. So for that I can use the new entry or either I can copy it and use the new entry and can provide the details as per my requirement or as per my company requirement or else if I am in learning so I will do my thing I will do the selection and I will copy it Select this and this server is required for the copying the product key. So this way I can create my entry. So now coming to the product order creation. In product order creation, what we do? We maintain order type and order type controls the following functions directly or through the additional profile. That is internal and external number of assignments. Internal or external number of assignments. The assignments which we have got from our clients or customers. Classification system. How to classify them? Commitments management. The commitments Commitment management is if you have uh, told a customer that we will be giving you a product or we will supply your product in 7 days. We will produce you the product in 7 days. So that is a commitment management. In that includes in how many days we will be preparing the product and all that. Status management for different production statuses. Settlement and scheduling. Now, for the production order creation, we will require 
So we go to production and shop flow creation. Shop flow control, I beg your pardon. control master data order and define order type here defining order type here it is tt01 production planning 01 that is our standard order type so select that and copy it. But here we will replace it to TP10. And here are the parameters which we need to ch the changes if we require functional area which we want and all that zero zero one and zero zero one hundred for production zero three hundred for sales and distribution zero four hundred for administration five hundred for research and development secure cost and all that which we require to select as per a requirement Then the stats management, what we want. After saving that, we go to number in general. We click on it. And we have to select affiliated number in. which we have created or which we require for production planning module or we can maintain it by pressing F5 and we can create a new number range as per our requirements as per the company's requirements in order to save the space and all that. There is one adding a new interval. It's already present. And after that we have to save the data. After that, order that dependent parameters. For that, define order that dependent parameters. That all is present in the shop flow control. What we have to remember is just on the production, shop flow control, master data, and order. Okay, now. I can create the new entry for it and there are also the transaction code which can be which can bring you directly to the screen which I am going using the enterprise capture this is the IMG and we can say it as enterprise capture Or we can directly go to the structure using the transaction code. Okay. Let's see. 
as I have done the transaction code, I am directly on to it. But I require Yeah, and the production. Stop the control. And mark the data. In the master data order. Now after that, We use the parameters as I choose the new entries. There are four panels opening. There are four uh, menus opening, sub menus, you can say. I will have to select the plant. I selected the plant the order type and it is just created that is not created I create that order type and after that I will have to do the changes over here whichever the things I require that is selection IDB then task list sequential exchange task list type and all that we will learn the task type task list type in the coming coming session and later on here for order headers for operations for materials for production rescue tools Whatever we want, I can select it from here. Then in controlling, I'll have to select a valid control variant. I will have to, first of all, I will have to create, create a valid control. This we will learn on later. This is just for us, this text. Just for definition. And then I will save the data. Exit the screen. After creating this, we will go to product scheduling profile. Now, what is product scheduling profile? How it is to be scheduled? How it is to be created? Created? How the product will be created? Now, I'm going to the production. Define. Now it is in the master data, master data and define product scheduling. Here it is. Profile. Now here it is already selected to zero 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 one and uh, Product scheduling profile is as per default, as saved as per default. What we need to do is to copy and just provide a product scheduling profile number. What we require. And then hit enter. In this case, I will cancel it. Now I will see default values for generation of operations. 
her for this. Uh, I will have to go to the operation and then in the operation I will have to go to task list creation. Sorry, task list selection. or define default values and here for that I will have to set the work area and here I will have to define the order type using new entry Availability check. Now, what is an availability check? Availability check is that uh, by performing operation, it shows us which material we have, which material we don't have, whether we will be able to complete it on time, whether we will be getting the material on time. That is known as the availability check. Then suppose if a customer has ordered 40 pieces and we have a stock of 50 pieces, we have given 40 pieces to the other customer. But at the same time, within a matter of days, in two days, then, some other customer also requires uh, 15 pieces. So in that case, what we will have to check whether we have an extra material, whether we can create extra 5 pieces or not. That is known as the availability check. That is the checking of raw material and other things. Now here, there is an availability check. In availability check there is defined checking group. For that, we will need to go to operation which we are in then availability check here it is then define checking group here we will have to check here it is daily requirement individual requirement batches we are now working in batches so we will see in which batch we have created in one batch we have created 50 pieces out of the 50 pieces we have given released 40 pieces from the batches and the available pieces in the batch is 40 uh, sorry that's the pardon 10 so like that we can check it Now define checking rule. Here we can set up the che checking rule using by copying the entry or either creating a new entry. This way. Then now coming to the scope of check. Here is which scope it has been given. That is, uh, everyone is given daily requirement. That is, and uh, this checking rule is checking rule 01, checking rule 03, sales order, as the order make to order stock, project stock, then. Uh, Returnable packaging, consignment, delivery, make to order stock, project stock, and so on. Yeah, the various types of 
fruits which we have means which are created by default in SAP and we can define a new rules. Now coming to the define check control, checking control. Here's, here's the way how we define the checking control. New entry. Yeah, I'll have to select the prompt which I require for the checking control. Then order type. Then availability check which I have been created. I have created now. And so on. The process goes on. The checking rules, the checking, the component check type, release material, collect and conversion and so on. So this finishes our availability checking. Now we move on to the last and final topic that is stock and batch determination. Now stock and batch determination for good movement. Here I will have to define the plant and the odd number name of that the name of the production order operation and so on and I have to save it. So this way we can do a batch determination. So that's it for now. Uh, let's meet in the next video which will be just coming within a factor of this. Bye. Have a nice day.